In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a 3D logo animation in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get to it. Here we are in DaVinci Resolve, and I'm going to start by opening Fusion Workspace. In the media pool, I've already added Google Logo PNG. I'm just going to drag and drop it to the node space. That will create the two nodes, the media in and the media out. Let's move the media out to the right for now, and disconnect the nodes by double-clicking on the arrow. By the way, you can move the view using the middle mouse button. Now we're going to add a combination of effects to the media in node. Let's left click on it so it's highlighted. Then control space on the keyboard to open the search bar. And let's search for image plane 3D. Press enter or click add. Then control space again, duplicate 3D. And control space, transform 3D. Control space, renderer 3D. Now let's connect the renderer 3D to the media out. And up here we get two separate preview windows. By default, the second one should be the media out. That is the end result. And we can add another node to the left. So if we select duplicate 3D node and press 1 on a keyboard, that should put it on the first view. The 2 would be the preview window number 2. Now I'm going to rotate the view to see the logo from the side by pressing Alt key on a keyboard and then middle mouse button to rotate the view. Now before we do any changes, let's select the renderer 3D node. Make sure Inspector Panel is enabled. And let's set Renderer Type to Hardware Renderer or anything else other than Software Renderer to make the previews faster. Now let's select the Duplicate 3D node again. In the Copies, let's set Copies to 150. And then under the Translation, let's set Z Offset to negative 0.001. And as we do that, you can see we've added depth to the logo since we've stacked 150 copies in the Z space. Now let's select the Transform 3D node, press 1 on the keyboard, and the Transform 3D node allows us to animate the logo. And here you can keyframe the rotation, the scale and position, stuff like that. So I'm going to make sure the time indicator is at the first frame, at frame 0. I'll set X rotation to negative 60, Y rotation to 45, and Z rotation to 15. Then I'm also going to set scale all the way to 0, and create keyframes on all of these. Then I'll move two seconds forward, and that will be 60 frames for me, since the composition that I'm using is in 30 frames per second, so that you can see the settings here. And I'll simply set scale to 1, and rotation values back to 0. So we're back to the original position. And now if we preview this, this is the animation that we get. So to make the animation smoother, let's open Spline Editor, then check the Transform 3D to see the keyframes, Click on Zoom to Fit until you see all of the keyframes. Left click in the empty space, then press Ctrl A or Command A to select all keyframes. Right click, go into Ease and select Out Cubic. Now the animation should be fast at the start and then it will slow down closer to the end. Now let's close down the spline. And here we have the animation, but the logo looks very flat because it doesn't have any shadows. And in order to add shadows, first we need to select the first two nodes, the Media In and the Image Plane 3D. Press Ctrl C. Click somewhere up here, press Ctrl V to paste them, pretty much duplicate them. Now select Image Plane 3D node, press Ctrl Space, and add a fresh Transform 3D. And let's leave the nodes like that for now. Now let's select the Media End node, press Ctrl Space, and add Color Corrector. This one with a CC. Make sure it is selected, and then in the Inspector panel, let's drop down the gain to darken down the logo, so 0.4 should be fine. Now let's go back to those duplicated nodes, find the Transform 3D node on it, and drag this rectangle from the Transform 3D node and connect it to the Duplicate 3D node's rectangle. They'll add a merge node and connect the layers together, and here you can see we've added a fresh copy of the logo to the front, and all those darkened down layers are nicely in the back, so here we've created the sense of depth and the shadow. So this looks a lot better now. You can even move these nodes closer together to stay organized. And at the moment we don't have any background, so the composition is completely transparent. To add a background, we select the Render 3D node, then click this icon to add the background, they'll add a merge node, make sure it is selected, then in the inspector panel let's add operator to under, and here we have the background, so if we select the background node, and choose the color, you can go for any color you want, I'll do something of white, like this, click OK, and here we have the background. I also would love to add a drop shadow to nicely separate the logo from the background, because at the moment it still looks kind of flat. To do that, let's rearrange the nodes nicely, then select the Render 3D node, Control Space, and search for Drop Shadow. Add it over here, and here you can see we've added Drop Shadow. In the Inspector panel, make sure Drop Shadow is selected. Let's set Drop Distance really low to 0.01, and here we have the Drop Shadow, so before and after. And at this point we can add text with the company name or whatever it might be. For that, let's select the Merge 1 node at the end, 
Then select the text plus node over here. That'll create another merge node. We can move this over to rearrange everything nicely. Then select the text one node and in the text box, let's type something. For the font, I'll choose Montserrat. And after choosing the font, I'm going to move the text down below the logo. Let's actually move forward to the logo's final position at frame 60 and move the text to something like this. And now we're going to animate the text and I've already done a tutorial on how to do that nicely. But here I'm going to show you a simple and basic animation. So let's move to frame 40, then open the shading in the inspector panel, then open position and let's decrease the Y offset for the position to negative 0.3 to move the text down slightly and create a keyframe on it. Then I'm going to set the opacity to zero so we don't have any text, create a keyframe. Then I'll move 15 frames forward to frame 55, set the opacity to one and Y offset to zero to bring the text back to its original position. Now let's open Spline Editor. I'm going to uncheck the Transform 3D so we can see just the text one keyframes. So make sure that the text one is checked. Then zoom to fit, left click somewhere, Control A to select the keyframes, right click, Ease out cubic to smoothen out the animation, close down the spline, and here if we do the preview, here we have a complete 3D logo animation created in DaVinci Resolve. Thank you guys for watching.